Welcome back to Gumpla Grandpa's. I'm Hog. And I'm Zog. Today, building the Wave Metal Slug 124th scale model. Uh. This is probably the least good of all the Metal Slug kits. I've seen a few of them. There's one that's made by like a Chinese company that's really good because the proportions are really nice. This one isn't very articulated except for the main gun piece and uh, the wheels don't move or anything. And then that Chinese company one has the wheels that move. It like super articulated, super nice. I wish I could find it. It is not impossible to find, so I had to settle for the Wave version. So, not to say that this kit is inherently bad, it's just the proportions it's, aren't as nice. <laughs> now when you're saying proportions, like to to itself or to 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 the cartoony uh, kind of style of what the metal slug is. So gotcha. in the game, the metal slug is more chibi like, and it kind of it's it's really squishy. Mm-hmm. And I feel like the wave this wave model kit is based off of more of the art in the box. So the concept art that they have that you can unlock in the game and stuff like that. They kind of base it more off of that instead of the actual game. And I like the style of the game. I think the little fat chubby tank lends itself or is more iconic than kind of like the concept art. Because you only see the concept art if you've played the game and unlocked it or if you like owned a booklet that had that art in it. Mm-hmm. But if you played the game, then you've seen the Metal Slug. So, but freaking love Metal Slug, dude. This kit was, uh, it was very, uh, I wanted to make it really good because this game is very near and dear to my heart. I have consistently played it throughout my entire life. <laughs> I was about to say, much much like Mega Man in college? Yeah, pretty much. This one is the one that uh, me and my brother will always like pick up and play. This is one of those games that we just don't say no to. Actually, so I had gone to Europe with my grandparents when I was 13, and that was that's like one of the core memories of going over there was seeing a cabinet for Metal Slug One, and that was so freaking elated. Like, oh my gosh, they made like, cabinets like, for this. <laughs> like, like a like a clothing, not a clothing cabinet, but like a furniture cabinet. No arcade cabinet, like. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a metal slug <laughs> furniture cabinet. I was yes. about to say, someone was dedicated for that one. Dude, that'd be awesome. I don't know. Man, I want a metal slug furniture cabinet. Let's get Feel Jeremy on it. Hell yeah. Yeah, you know a lot more about metal, metal slug than I do. Here's, I've haphazardly played through them. I've never beaten a single one of them. What? Uh, Yep. Dude. The rocket launchers oh, are always the best. Rocket launcher. Granted, I think I played on. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna call it a cabinet. I feel like I had cabinets at my local hockey rink when I was younger, which is a weird sentence to say. And that's how I'm aware of it. Yeah. Um, they're good, dude. Man, you're missing out if you haven't beat any of them. Oh yeah, well, that piece was flying. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> Unnecessary. Yeah. Uh, luck- luckily, like I was telling you right before we started recording, one, three, four, and X. If you have a tw- Twitch Prime membership, you can get for free. Yeah. So I, w- I guess I will go through and play, play through the silly, yeah, the silly it, games. It, if you want to be, if if you want to just kind of skip one, like one is good. It's a fun game. But it doesn't get more ridiculous until you start playing like two through X. So, because like two, I don't want to ruin too much, but uh, stuff starts getting pretty crazy for sure. Uh, the Nazis, quote unquote, of the game, because they're not actually Nazis, they're, I of forget course. what the, the corporation is, but it's basically like the Nazi symbol without the L's, it's an X. X on a white background with a red circle, but oh, that's, yeah, because, well, the swastika is copyright. We can't use that. that. <laughs> yeah, like it's basically the same thing. But that army, um, 
they start getting pretty desperate and in their desperation it leads them to get some really interesting allies so but it's a it's a fun game for sure like uh, uh like aliens right amongst other things okay. so yeah it's like great. I said, I'm, I'm vaguely aware like i've played i played them haphazardly but yeah i don't know what the so. story is actually ever supposed to be Oh, yeah, basically they're all trying to stop this uh, Colonel Morden, I think is his name. And, uh, yeah, he just gets creatively, more and more creative every game. And things get worse and worse. And they eventually, like, not spoil the, the storyline of further games, but they eventually copy the Metal Slug. Like, uh, the bad guys copy the, the schematics for the Metal Slug and they start making their own. That's actually, I think, in 4? It's either four or double. Uh, no, no, no. It is four. The beginning boss of four is like a giant bad guy metal slug. It's pretty awesome. Huh. So I got lights for this one. I had some uh, some spare ones that I wanted to use. And the thing with putting lights inside of kits and stuff is that you know you have to. It's like a very very necessary step to dry fit everything so that you can then plan out how you're gonna want to put in the lights. And this, these two holes that I put into the headlamp, I ended up only using one because I wanted to put in a flickering LED that ended up not fitting. So I had to put a smaller kind of cell um, LED in there. But you can kind of see it's, the concept is there. You wanna try to dry fit before you commit. Because right. if you if you just go ah yeah that'll fit then it won't <laughs> so straight up it won't. I need to start working with lights. I need to. I haven't built uh, um that little airbrush ship I have, but I think I'm gonna start working on it soon because I'll need to build and paint it soon since I'll be leaving again soon. Um, lights. Lights make everything 30% better, in my yeah. opinion. It's, uh, they make it 30% better, and um, it's cheap. It's a cheap thing to do. It just makes it look way more clean. So yeah. whenever I yeah, can I've, throw in lights, I've never, <laughs> I've never looked at a build and been like, you know what? They should not have put lights in here. <laughs> <'Cause there's, laughs> I, I've, I've never done that. <laughs> Why do the eyes light up? Yeah, how daft. That looks horrible. <laughs> I my my goal now is to make you say that for something. I'll well, I mean, find you, a way to. Really... I, I'm I'm sure you could. Like I'm sure if you put it in a in a manner that made it look that doesn't makes it look unnatural, then it would look bad. But most most of the time, it's like I have the eye lights up, the engines light up. Right. I've done X Y Z and it lights up, and it's like oh, okay, that's cool. Right. <laughs> The painting for this one was uh, pretty straightforward. Nothing too crazy. Lots of mixing paints to get that kind of olive army kind of green color. Mm -hmm. Correct? It's kind of a weirder color. And I did a lot of masking with this one because I'm not like, I, I don't know if you, you noticed in the, the previous footage, but this is all like almost entirely one color. <laughs> I did notice it's, that. Yes, it's just gray. <laughs> so. Did um, did you have your 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 coke wear yet? No, not yet. Okay. Next this video. was yeah. Well, no, it's a couple videos. Oh, oh. I, I don't think I show the the coke wear. I, I am gonna. Okay, so spoiler for next couple builds. Next one is uh, Mecha Godzilla, and then. Um, the Zabungle. Oh yeah, I forgot you had that one. Oh yeah, the next one is Mechagodzilla. And the Zabungle is the one that I had to... This is the one that I got the dedicated Coke wear for because it, it asks for such specific ratios for the paint. So a little backstory into what the Coke wear is. <laughs> I bought a gram scale not only to cheat at looking for what mystery minifigures inside of Lego uh, mystery packages are, but also to make sure that my ratios for my paint were correct. So on the back of most instructions for model kits, they give you a thing that has 30% one paint, 20% another paint, yada, yada, yada. 
and it's really hard to eyeball that kind of stuff. So I bought a gram scale so that I could more easily get the ratios correct and mix the paint properly to get closer to what the manufacturer used to do those specific things. But when I was looking up gram scales, I found one, decided on it, and I looked at other pictures of it and it was plated gold. And that's when I came to the realization, oh, that's what they use this for. Illicit activities. Now, now you haven't yet, but I'm sure if you go to ma also make your own colors, you can measure those out too, right? Doesn't um, Despay make a really good, uh, oh, it's gonna, it's gonna bother me. Spay makes a thing, not dispose models. How do I spell? Dis D I S P A E. There we go. Spay. Spay. Uh, AliExpress. Damn it! I'm having a hard time today. Um, don't they have a website? They have a website that I can go and look at. Uh, this Spay is uh, usually spelled by like new type. It is, but they all they still have their own website. Oh, I've only ever seen oh, then you can look up specifically what it is. I've only ever seen them on the website. So yep. What are but what are you referring to, I guess? They have a they it's like a paint tool so that you're it's like a pri it's like a paint priming tool so you can see what your paint's going to look like over white and black primer and they have a second one where it's pink and gray primer. Oh. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. It's like a little, it's like an animal or something. Uh, they do have one as an animal too, yes. But they... Yeah, I think I, I've seen ones that are like corgi buds that they've done before. Yeah. But they have one that's specifically like index cards. Ah. Anyways, what I wanted to get to, this was all irrelevant. Right, right, right. Was that you mix more paints so you can <laughs> learn how to remake your yellow for Warhammer. Oh, yeah, I mean, honestly, though, so here's the thing about that yellow. <laughs> I'm like, I've got a third left, right? And I'm probably not going to continue painting Imperial Fists because they've already all been based. And in terms of getting more Imperial Fists, it's probably not going to happen. 10th edition has been lauded as being, you know, absolutely horrendous so i'm not even sure i'm gonna if i'm going to use the imperial fists because they were really good uh at one point but now it's just more of a like i like these guys and i'm just gonna keep them and maybe the next edition will be better oh, okay maybe they'll be good in this edition later but i i'm just leaving them be for right now but I, I, also on the same page you know if i'm gonna use a yellow I now will use the ratios of whatever the manufacturer asks for. And if I find a really good yellow, then I'll just keep using that same one. Like the yellow that I used for Mega Man, the, that yeah. yellow actually mixed in a pearlescent, um, a pearlescent red. Oh. And yeah, go figure, right? But I, I mixed that in there and I think that that yellow looks really, really good. And the sheen on it is really cool with the pearlescent red. So, you know, if I'm going to use a custom mix, I'm probably going to use the Mega Man one over anything else. Mm. The Warhammer one is nice, and honestly, I'm, I'm probably just going to, you know, use it where I can, and once, when it's done, it's done, and that's it. So, look at this masking tape job. So much masking tape. Glorious. Look, I've seen so much, <laughs> so many different kinds. So much masking that I can't. I can't even. I can't even be mad at how you're masking here. <laughs> I need to get better at masking, dude. I've I've started to mask a lot of stuff lately, and um, I think it's it just kind of. I don't know. I, I feel that if you take more time with anything, yeah, you're going to see the quality of stuff improve for sure. But sometimes with masking, masking can go like terribly wrong and just completely ruin your endeavors. Which yeah. is what I've experienced before, which is also why I, I tend to avoid it because I don't like running into something where it's like, oh, messed up that white, it's completely gone. But I've been seeing this thing recently. Uh, people have been using it's like it's like a li liquid masking. Oh yeah, liquid mask is is awesome. But the thing is, is that 
once you open it up, if you don't <laughs> use it within like a specific span of time, then it dries out on the inside or is less effective. So oh, it's so even like, like just it's a time sensitive thing. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, because that's I had a I had a, a thing of liquid mask from man. I had bought one years ago, and I used it once, and I closed it back up. And even though this is like a sealed thing, I went to go use it again, maybe like a year and a half later, and uh, yeah, it sucked. Huh. And sometimes you can find other masking things like like that with I use silly putty with some mm. some stuff. And silly putty works fine and that's pretty usable and it's not like it's ever gonna dry out or anything because it's just silly putty. So Yeah. I've had I silly putty was really good when I did um the spaceship Yamato. Mm. Uh, I put silly putty in between the deck windows. Uh, yeah. But then I had to like scrape, kind of scrape it out on the inside, which wasn't a big problem. It's on the inside, very small. Better to do that than that's a nice, clean, right color. That uh, um, Tamiya, real quick. That Tamiya um, tape for curves is what mm -hmm. I use right around the edge, and then I just use the bigger, bigger tape on the outside. That Tamiya tape for curves is like bee's knees, dude. Best, okay. best stuff ever. It doesn't stick very well if it's like a very harsh curve, but if you mm -hmm. want to do stuff like that circle, yeah, it's definitely a must. So. Yeah. Or if anything, you can always just do a bunch of small curves, right? Yeah, a bunch of small pieces. Like a bunch of, of a bunch of straight lines make a circle, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's like, that's the alternative for sure. Honestly, I, I had something that I was painting today and I needed it to curve. And what I ended up doing is that I just placed the tape on top of it and then I just kind of um, cut around it with an exacto knife instead of trying that, to like do that. So. That I feel like is a dangerous game you just played. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it is a very dangerous game. The most dangerous game. I just wanted um, it to be black in the center, dude. No, that, that's fair. I just would have taped off. I don't know. I would have like taped off the the sides or something and. <laughs> You know, just to make sure somehow. Check out the light. So the light itself is blue, and I tinted the thing yellow, so we get a really weird kind of green color. I didn't use blue on purpose, it was literally just all I had on hand. So uh, what, what color were you looking for? I would have ideally like something that was either white or yellow, but gotcha. I didn't want to go out and buy more. I really just wanted to use some of these lights. What you should have done was then tinted it red so you had a cool purple color. The purple wouldn't really be... I mean, green kind of works for the metal slug because that headlamp is yellow, right? But purple would kind of be, I don't know, a little too distracting. I feel like color-wise, it's a little too harsh. That's but. actually really nice. That red was nice too. I like how it the it managed to reflect even on the inside of the of the barrel. Yeah. Oh, so I I sprayed uh, the inside with a shiny metallic yeah. silver. So that was nice. Okay. Okay. This kit this kit's coming coming together real nice. I'm liking it. Oh yeah, dude. It's it's very nice. After after it's painted up and you put all the details and I put all the lights on it, it was definitely one of now my favorites, you know, for my I, I, I do want to ask, go back real quick. So how many, have you built very many tank kits? Um, not proper tank kits. Okay. Do you consider Warhammer a tank kit? No. <laughs> okay, then no, not very many okay. then. All right. I was just going to ask how, how you feel this might, I mean, it looks drastically different. Uh, but how this and it looks like a like your general snap and go kit, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I was just gonna ask how it how it felt to in relation to a general tank kit or I guess general model kit in comparison to the snap kits. Yeah, I think but, uh, this one definitely probably falls into the category of just snap kits because it, again, it doesn't really have that much articulation or really yeah do anything to Miraculous. So. And who needs solder when you can just twist stuff together and put the heat shrink on it? 
Yeah, yeah, we don't we don't need to burn ourselves here. We don't do Is things it? properly in this household. <laughs> Hell no. I was actually out of solder. But Oh. Yeah, I was going to solder it. Yeah, this works good enough. Yeah, I mean it's it's not like I'm it, for one, again, it's not like it moves a lot, so it's not like it's gonna come undone or anything crazy like that. This is just yeah. gonna live on the inside of the tank, so I'm not too worried about it. But it came out pretty pretty crisp pretty clean. That is indeed very clean actually. Damn. That. It is a shame that those treads don't move. Yeah, I'm kind of bummed about that. I, I really wish that they did because I think the thing that upsets me the most is that I've seen other kits where it does move. So it's, I know it's possible and I'm confused as to why they didn't because I don't feel like it would have been that bad. They could have even just done like a big rubber piece. It would have mm -hmm. been cool with just like a rubber piece and a couple wheels and that's it. But yeah. instead they just elected to just do the big big molded pieces that don't move so. yeah i and that's that's why i think my current issue if i have any one issue so far with this build is that because they're not rubber something looks off about those wheels to me mm -hmm. and they're too shiny yeah i try to and... make them metallic looking so that's kind of kind of where that one's at yeah because in uh in like most of the games, they kind of do look like metallic treads. They just look like metal fins. They don't really look like, um, yeah. yeah, pretty much. They just look like metallic fins. So that's why I went that way. I used the, the gun metal color. Kind of gluing that and flipping it over. I really liked when I was done with this one. Uh, that everything was so self-contained. Because most of the time when I put batteries and stuff on these, I have to put the battery pack outside where you can see it, or the light, the like line that goes to it is kind of very obvious. But this one, uh, nice and self-contained. Literally, it's there's no battery pack that follows it. It's just right on the bottom. Lights on. Bam. That's nice. I'm a. Uh, you know, I'm 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 gonna rate this one a nice. Ah. Uh, a nice 10 out of 9. 10 out of 9. Not 9 out of 10. That's uh, that's <laughs> fog. That's sick fog brain. <laughs> <laughs> no. I will do uh, 10 out of 9. I'll take I'll keep that one. Okay. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll even like, insert a little <laughs> I like the colors and all that. Uh, I just this is this is me being picky. I don't like the green color you chose. At least the how my I'm seeing it here. Yeah. So, but everything else is is really good. Yeah, I mean the green is is literally just the green of metal slug. So, but I, I'll take it. I'll take okay. it. Mission complete. Wow, that's really slow. I didn't think it'd go. 